What's up everybody? Welcome to the next part of the building a model video series. And uh, so you, right now you should probably have three nodes or three joints defined and created in your model space. Um, depending if you followed every step that I did last time, they should be at five, one and two should be at five meters apart. And then two and three should be at 1.5 meters apart. So let's just double check everything. Remember, right click, go to properties. Yeah, six. All right, zero, five, six point five. Okay, so everything's good. Make sure you don't have to have these the exact same as me. Just make sure that you have three nodes created or at least two, because today we are going to be actually defining our spring, AKA our member. So in order to, to do so, remember on the left-hand side, this is our modeling tools. We're still on the geometry shortcut tab. And just below the node tool, the joint tool, we want to click member definition tool. So. This always has to be selected when you're defining any type of member, whether it be a truss, a beam, a spring, whatever. And so in this case, we want to look at doing a spring because eventually we're going to analyze the spring system. It's probably the most basic system that we could do as a beginner introductory level. So up top at your properties toolbar, member types, the very last section or the very last uh, tab says beam. We want to put it as a linear axial spring. Okay. so. Now we have our member definition tool selected and we want to actually, we have to start it from a node. So keep this in mind. If you try and create a member without having any nodes defined, it's not going to work because you have to have a start point and you have to have an end point for any type of member. So that's the most important thing with defining your node. And that's why that we did it first. So you can see we have three nodes. We want to put a spring between node one and node two. So having our member definition tool selected, now you want to left click, just regular click on the node you want to start at. Okay, then this comes up, a little plus in your little in your bar or your spring, and you want to end it at node number two. So just click up node number two, boom, then you go and you get your spring. Same thing if you want to do from two to three. Now you don't need to reselect everything because you already have everything selected. All you need to do is click again and then click again, right? It's pretty cool. So there you go. Now we have created two springs from one to two and from two to three. Let's modify properties of our spring. So we have to have member our member definition tool selected because we wanna uh, select the spring, which is the member, and we wanna modify its properties. Right click on it, let's try that again. Right click on it and it should go red. You see, that means we've selected it just like when the node went red before. Click on properties, there you go. We get the member properties. And we're running out of time, so in my next video, I'm going to tell you how to modify the member properties and what all this stuff means.